So now we're going to start the proxy manager. And it's going to open, uh, it will start by opening a command black window or terminal, which consists of debugging information. Now I want to clarify, you must keep this window open at all times since closing it will stop the proxy manager and terminate all communication to the super proxy. In the browser, I'm going to type in HTTP dot dot slash slash 127.0.0.1 semicolon 22999. And this is the address of the proxy manager and it's going to take you to the proxy manager dashboard. When sending requests, the proxy manager is the middleman between my automated browser, which in this examples will be Selenium or Puppeteer, and the super proxy itself. Before starting, I'm going to download the proxy manager SSL certificate and install it. And this will allow me to view HTTPS requests, debugging information, and apply rules on HTTPS traffic. So I've done this already. And now I'm going to start with creating a new proxy port. I'm going to select my zone and that could be data center, residential, mobile, and a preset configuration. Now, as you can see, we've created a couple different options for you based on your needs. And when you're done, just click save. So once I've created my port, I can click on the targeting tab. And this allows me to select the country and city I want my IP to come from. This can even be a specific ISP or mobile carrier. Now that I've chosen the correct target that I need, I'm going to move on to the request speed tab. And this is where I can select to remotely resolve by the peer. This means the translation of the URL to an IP address will be made on the peer side, or in other words, our real user in the location of interest. Here, I can also set a number of parallel requests when a specific load and time is needed. Now I'll go to the rules tab. Here I can choose a rule type and how I want it to be handled. For this example, I'm going to choose um, a rule type and I'll focus on status code. So with status code, I can actually choose a specific error code maybe one that I get often. And if I get this error code, I want the Luminati Proxy Manager to automatically refresh the IP. Once I've set my first rule, I can even add a second rule. And in this one, I want to choose the rule type status code again. And I want it to say, okay, every time I hit a 403 error code, I want to automatically retry with a brand new IP. Um, if you are working with HTTPS, I want you to keep in mind that you do need to go to the general tab and enable SSL logs. So enable SSL, make sure it's on yes. And this allows you to track your success rate, view debugging details, and provide error information for troubleshooting purposes. 